Okay, and we are here, everybody. We're all set up. We're all starting. We're gonna do some more Crystal Kaizo today. As you can see, I got myself back to the entrance. And I went ahead and I got out Flash because we need this. I don't even remember what this section of the cave looks like in the vanilla game, to be honest. And right off the bat, there's a rock smash thing. They probably put this here so that you can't, like, feel the wall. Which means this is probably the way forward, isn't it? I'm calling it now. Hold up, I should put someone else up front. Repels are very quickly about to be useless, so let's put Sakura here. Don't want to fight water types with Rockman. Dragonite? We haven't even reached the den yet, so we can't do that. Okay. They're being absolutely sure you can't cheese this without going back to get Flash. Dragonite's gonna have to be something I get between another episode. For now, the current friends we have shall be good enough. My goal for today is to see if I can at least make it to... Silver. Like, before... Hang on. I guess I can run into encounters here, it's fine. My goal is to see if I can get to the Elite, to the elite Four. Beating the Elite Four today is not going to happen, because that's going to take, like, multiple trial, like attempts over and over and I'm gonna need to have like a full a fully decked out party let me check this here it would help if I could figure out just how to actually get ice beam on Vaporeon though I'm not even sure if the move tutors are even in crystal t uh, crystal Kaizo anymore everything just seems weird I haven't run into anything but the repel oh there it is okay I had to jinx it I had to jinx my Kaizo luck it's just a deli bird. Wait, what? Oh! This section must be connected to the part of the cave that's accessible at the start of the game, that's why. Well, there's no point in trying to encounter anything. Let's do this then. Okay, that is that there. I think I need to get to that exit up top there. Which means I see. I may have to restart. Hi, Lorelai. Welcome. Delibird may be a friend, but he's not our friend right now. The robotic one is apparently the best friend. Good old Krabby. I think Rock Smash Pokemon can only be level 15, so these are pretty useless. Let's get out of there. I didn't even need to level up between episodes anymore because we're so close to the max level, it doesn't matter. Now here is where we're going to see high-level Pokemon, I think. Okay, so this is the exit. Hold up. Let me just reset this so I get the music. I want to be able to ride around here on my bike. Okay, looks like it's the middle one. But what's over here? Looks like this entire section is just an exit if you take the wrong path. This doesn't look like it's going to be very fun, but let's get it over with. I don't know who that guy is. I don't recall there being trainers in here. Um, let me see what I can run into. If this is the deeper part of the cave. Yep. Level 95. Do you think those level 7 Pokemon are just terrified of, like, the absolute demons chilling, like, in that... <laughs> just, like, one room ahead? Ugh. That's the Black Glasses guy? Is that how you get it in Gen 2? I guess it shows that I don't really go here, huh? Yeah, there's no reason to bother leveling up off the wild Pokemon. We'll naturally hit 100 battling the trainers on the way to the Elite Four. Hmm. Do I want his item? Could be useful. Black glasses on, so I didn't notice you at all. What am I doing? Hey, don't you worry about it. I'll give you a pair of black glasses, so forget you saw me, okay? Item pocket is full. Oh, fantastic. I didn't sell the uh, proteins and all that, did I? Hmm. Experience share. No, no, no. I have one full heal. I have an amulet coin. I could just give it to those guys, but I don't do I really want to. Hold up. Sakura holding. Never melt ice, that's right. 
what a pain. I may as well just give this to Flash for now so I can take the black glasses. Let's do that. That's right, Yo-Yo. You should plug the Discord, because especially since we're playing Pokemon all day. That's how you get all the friends in there. Ooh. I don't think black glasses will be very helpful, but I'll take it for now anyway. Let me see where this goes. Okay, those are exits down there. We don't want to take them, I think. Unless there's anything up here. Wait, no, that's an exit there. Oh, I see. I have to find a way down that loops back around to that up there. Well then, might have to do a little bit of saving here. This here. Save the game. Right or left, right or left. I'm gonna try right. Hmm. Okay. I think this is it. This seems like the only way that could possibly lead up there, so I'm on the right track. Enjoy these repels while we can. Okay, yeah, I got it. And there should be an item up here. It's just an extra revive. I'm hoping everything I find just stacks. I really should sell some stuff, though. But you never know when you'll need that money. I'll never know if I need those, like, uh, power-up items at some point. Like, maybe I'll get a Pokémon that runs Crunch. Oh, dear. Yo, you're spunky, but you know what? When it comes to sheer spunkiness, I'm the man. I thought I'd beaten all the trainers over here, but apparently I did not. There was still some for them to rearrange, it seems. Hiker Michael, what's he got? All right, level 100. Um, it's probably gonna go boom. I have the Never Melt Ice, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Punch. My special might be high enough to take it, I hope. Copium. <laughs> Looks like I got it. Excellent for me. Level 99. Now what? Look at that. My special's definitely going to hit 300 at max level, for sure. Fortress? I did not bring Dana, or sorry, Alucard. What am I saying? Because I need to replace someone for Flash. And Flash could learn Fly anyway. I'll just Fire Punch it. What am I worried about? Fire Punch is good enough. Alucard is really good, but it's u less. It's not as useful in, in as many situations as some of the other mons. Its typing lets it tank some hits. Uh, obviously, it's annoying how every fighting type has a rock move. But when I need a flying or fire move, it certainly helps. Yeah, could be better though. I think I reset for a good one when I caught it. Arbok. Okay, thank you for the resub, Lilac. Let's Earthquake it with Rockman. Rockman should be close to getting another level up. We definitely need this. I am ready for another wholesome week of streams, all right. I had some really good days off during this week. I needed to, like, rest at the start of the week because, like, I felt kind of sick last weekend, but I'm feeling pretty good now. Hi, Mina. Welcome. Last stream, we got to start Pikmin 2. I expected to play that for just a couple of hours, and I end up doing a four-hour session of it. I had a blast. I think I'm going to do some more of that tomorrow after Let's Go. A Sunday's a good long day. We got... My Pokémon weren't spunky enough. I did enjoy the Mystery Dungeon mods as well. What is your battle strategy? Is it foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately? Hang on. I thought it was cool today, but it's still kind of hot, so... I'm just going to turn my fan on. There we go. We actually had a thunderstorm going since the middle of last night. I was kind of worried I wouldn't be able to stream because I kept hearing the thunder and lightning. I was worried I was going to lose power, but it seems to have stopped. 
Still raining on and off. Thank you for the raid there, friend. Appreciate it. Oh, that's much better. Hey, there you go. 3619. I thought it was getting cool over cooler overall because the other day I woke up and it was actually felt kind of too cold with my fan on. Okay. Rockman's paralyzed, but whatever. Wait, what paralyzed me again? It definitely wasn't Thunder Wave. Did I get hit by Stun Spore? I was kind of zoned out at that point, because who cares? Iron Tail. Arbox Glare. Thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue. I feel like I might need to tie my hair back, too. Let me do that. While this Ampharos dies to Earthquake. It's kind of funny how some Pokemon clearly run Iron Tail and Steel Wings specifically to counter the um, rock types walls, or rock type walls, but they don't do very much because they're still a wall, right? It's better than them being able to do literally nothing though, right? Cool Trainer Kelly is about to send out Blastoise. When I hear the name Kelly, I think of that funny part. <laughs> that funny part during Nightcry. I've been thinking a lot about that game again. Okay, yeah, I hit the wrong button, I know. Um, send in Dana here. Excellent. It doesn't need to be October to play Nightcry again. The horror streams have really been on and off for the last while, haven't they? I've said it before, but like, horror games are some of my favorite to play, but damn, that did a lot. Um, just gonna go for submission. They're definitely games you have to be in the mood for, though. <laughs> and... Uh, let's go back here. Remember, like, last summer I got super sick and I played, like, no horror games until, like, autumn? And then this past spring is when I had, like, my head injury and I was just not in the mood for much spooky games at all. Finish you off. Yeah, there's your full restore, but I can kill you. There's some spooky games I've been promising for years that I haven't gotten around to. I mean, I'm already playing so much, but you can't... <laughs> I can't get through games fast enough. You gotta savor them. Keep hitting that. I'm gonna go for Megahorn now. This should get you. Too bad Swarm's not an ability here. No, there's no abilities here at all. I've still been really meaning to want to play, um... Uh, Haunting Ground. That game started, like, development as a clock tower game. And everybody's in a big clock tower mood ever since they announced that remaster's coming out next year. You can believe I'm playing that day one. Get that there. Excellent. I'll use this on Rockman. It should be okay. should I put up front for this part? Maybe just let Rockman r run wild. We did replay Crooked Man recently, that's right. I'd like to replay Sandman, Boogeyman, and uh, Hangman as well, too. Uh, I may as well free up inventory space by using this. I really do enjoy those playthroughs a lot. They're tons of fun. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? <laughs> Their performance on YouTube is like, you know, hit or, very hit or miss, but still, great times. Cool Trainer Ryan's got six Pokemon, he's ready to throw down. Ooh, I picked the perfect lead for this fight. Electabuzz's Ice Punch cannot one-hit KO Rockman, so I'm good. Where is this in the game? Um, I just got through Dark Cave and I'm trying to get to Dragon's Den because the map is rearranged to do that. But you probably know that, you've played this, haven't you? I think you said you have. Ooh. And once I have Dragon's Den done, next time I'll be able to get that level 100 Moomin. <laughs> I'll just start next episode with that level 100 Moomin Dragon. Because we're going to need it for the E4. Cool Trainer Ryan's about to use Quagsire. This will be what great to have a grass move, but Quagsire's not that big of a threat. I could just spam Surf with Sonic. 
I beat Blue as well. I beat Blue at its own game. Because Blue was busted. Hang on. Let's hit that with Surf. Hey, wash it away. We're gonna try some Purity Forest after this session today, too. I've been getting- I got real close with Mantine last time, and I really want to try again. Because Mantine just has, like, some really absurd level up, like, stats. Where I- where it's, like, kind of good, but also not that good at the same time. It's really weird. But it has a chance if you just get a few random Joy Seeds. It's the only Pokemon I've seen, like, level up and get, like, five and- five and six and sevens on stat increases. It's, it's nonsense. Further proof that they did not program that game properly. I should make some more time to work on recruiting for Explorers of Sky as well. I've doing I've been doing that on and off for like a year. The long the main story stuff has been done for a freaking eternity. But it's just a fun game to turn on and grind for sure. And the mods were a lot of fun. I gotta get some more of those Sky Temple games together, especially some of the popular ones. I was very invested in some of those. Uh, let me see here. Unfortunately, the one with the um, the Vanillite and the Groudon, I don't know if the creator is actually going to finish that one. I think that I think they may have moved on to other stuff. I think they, they commented on the VOD when I uploaded it yesterday. Which would be a shame, because I really wanted to see what happened next. Oh, I forgot. The random poison types just getting Giga Drain. This might kill me. I don't think I have enough HP to tank it, even if it is Muck using it. Damn, yeah. Well, time to send in Sakura to slaughter it. Who knows, maybe they'll change their mind, because everybody in and myself was, like, singing praises for that when I streamed it. Hey, here we go. Blast it with the funny ring attack. Muck looks so magenta in this sprite. It always looked weird to me. Like, it looks super saturated compared to other Pokemon. Like that. Okay. Persian. This is where we'll use Dana. I almost forgot the dude I'm fighting just got six mons casually. Death there. I can't tell if I just heard, like, a car door slam or if I heard thunder outside. My headphones muffle it just enough that I can't quite tell which is which. It outspeeds me, and I'm gonna kill it. Black Belt isn't an item you can get until Kanto, but it would be pretty good. I actually don't remember where you get Silver Powder. Was that the weekly siblings? I, I can't remember. I almost keep calling them the weakling siblings, but then I remember, no, that's... It's weakly, not weakling. Weakling is what you call someone when they're weak. <laughs> um, um, what should I go for here? Fire punch, thunder punch would do the same amount because I don't have a fire or electric badge and I'm holding never melt ice. Yeah, I should go for it with Sakura. I don't have Alucard with me. Wonderful, wonderful. It'd be good to get another short session of Crystal Kaizo recorded, because right now I have like the entirety of Castle of like the Castlevania 64 playthrough and the Silent Hill Shattered Memories playthrough to edit. I still haven't gotten those done because they're both just gonna be gigantic. Oh, just barely. If only I got the freaking burn. That would have helped. I'm gonna switch. That's what I'm gonna do. Send in Sonic. I think those playthroughs will be a lot of fun when they get up there, too. Max Potion. Though, like I said, Horror, and especially Castlevania, can also be hit or miss. That's why I don't really, like, split those playthroughs up anymore. Because they can be finished in, like, one or two sessions. And if I, and if I upload... If I split it up, the Part 2 always just does so poorly. I don't surf, yeah. Okay, you get Drill Peck. Did Skarmory get that in Gen 2? Normally? I mean, it must, but I never really used Skarmory for Gen 2. Could be an egg move, for all I know. Crystal version even added a couple more egg moves, didn't it? Couldn't tell you any examples off the top of my head, but I think it did that. 
Mm, all right, that's good. Not bad. Go for it again. Darn, I was hoping you'd use another potion and then I would just get a crit or something. Heck yeah, just barely. We're gonna have to heal up, because remember, we still have all the trainers inside the dragon's den. They will absolutely make sure I fight them. Ah, so close. One left. Cloister. Now this, I could probably take out with a Thunder Punch. Thanks to the resub there, appreciate it. Year and a half of teddies and moomins. Hope you're having fun. Oops. Is that a new icon on Twitch? Does it show like a cake icon next to you when it's like a stream anniversary or a sub anniversary? Or am I just noticing this for the first time now? I've never seen that cake icon. They're just doing what Reddit does now. It's a happy cake day. Ooh, not quite close. No, it's for some sort of cake game thing. Oh, is it? It's for like the r slash place. Oh! Did I just get frozen? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Almost be done with this game in time for September. Oh yeah, I should do something for September, shouldn't I? I can do some more funny sub goals, and hopefully I won't have a bunch of stuff come up that prevents me from getting to them sooner. Crystal Kaizo was one of the last sub goals, remember? Next egg lock, possibly. I feel like I should set that up more carefully in a different game this time, though. This trainer is slaughtering me, like, he is no joke. Everyone wants another egg lock? You know, I can't actually say no to that, because when I did that egg lock for Platinum, with the custom Cheryl Sprite, for whatever reason, the first the first stream VOD, like, blew up so well in the algorithm. I think that the first part of it is now, like, the fourth most viewed video on the entire channel. It has, like, hundreds of thousands. Let me see here. You've won my respect. Well, I'm sure as heck not going back to the Pokemon Center, so let's start healing everybody. It's funny, because I think, like, the first, the second part had, like, barely 20,000. It's just one of those things that, like, it goes in the algorithm, and it looks real nice. Let's see here. If we do another egg lock, I would appreciate it, yeah, if we could do another custom character sprite. Maybe we should see if we can, like, do one for, like, Lorelei or something, or Cynthia, like I said. An easier game to make sprites for? Yeah, <laughs> that could work. Also fair, yeah. Save those max potions. Editing a Gen 5 sprite would probably take a lot more effort, yeah. Maybe one of the GBA games be easier, who knows. Gen 5 is apparently evil for editing that stuff. Keep going, keep healing. I just wonder, like, maybe it should be for Hoenn or something, because I'm already playing Let's Go, so doubling up on Kanto for the next playthrough might be one to mix it up a bit, especially since I'm also going to be going to Kanto in this game too, right? Let's hit this here. Keep going, keep going. All it takes sometimes is a funny playthrough. It's funny, because sometimes I will have, like, the most fun stream in the world. I'll upload it, and it will just do, like, so poorly on YouTube. But then the most, like, random throwaway thing will just blow up in the algorithm, and it's like... You can't, you can't focus on that stuff, or it's just gonna, like, make you mad. You just have to play stuff and just hope it does well and not care. You gotta be indifferent to it. Okay... The first episode of the Platinum Egglock is over 442,000. Damn, it's almost at half a million. Jeez, I have, like, softlock videos that have less views than that. That's wild. Okay, this is the Dragon's Den here. Let's go. Th though, to be fair, when something does, like, ride the algorithm like that... Hold up. You! How dare you entered uninvited? I was invited. What usually happens is that most of the views come from people getting it and they're recommended. They click on it, and then they just click off it after, like, five seconds. 
It doesn't matter w what reason. Maybe they don't like the sound of my voice. Maybe they thought it was like a, a, a three hour review VOD and not a playthrough. Kingdra, I can't fight. Hmm. Maybe Dana would be good for this, or should I just hit it with Psychic? It's probably gonna use a special move, so I'll go with that. Whirlpool? Yep, I, can't, I got that on Sonic the Vaporeon. Happened to your Moemon VOD last week. It has views, and then the rest just falls off instantly. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. It makes you feel motivated at first, and then, it, uh, then it's like, aw. Why, why no million view after every upload? Come on, now. You don't like the Dragon's Den music? I think it's nice. Okay, it's got return. I noticed that a lot of special attackers in this mod have, like, a random physical attack like return, just as, like, an option for Alakazam. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. I didn't see if I dropped its special defense, so we'll see. Okay, no rush on the Egglock stuff, but that would be cool. Be kind of weird to put Lorelei's Fire, Red, uh, Fire Relief Green Sprites in Hoenn, though, so maybe pick some, someone from that's actually in Hoenn. And there you go. Goodbye, Kingdra. Give me a drink. If you don't sound like you're high on sugar, you sound bored, apparently. Yeah, I've heard that quite a few times, yeah. A frontier brain? Uh... Actually, what, what would that look like? Imagine if you just picked someone like Lucy, the Sviper girl, and made her playable for Gen 3. Damn, that's some clickbait right there. How about another half a million views? Chop, chop. It's Gyarados, so I can fight it. Okay. I try not to scream because I know a lot of people like to watch my stuff when I, um, <laughs> when they, when they sleep. Play as Bianca and Ooh will voice the whole stream. Okay. I would like- I, I- I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> then people will hate me for real. Almost to 100. What do we get left? Steelix. Now this Sonic can take care of. Let's go. Hmm. Hit that here. Was that her name? Lucy the Sviper Girl? Am I misremembering it? It's it's bothering me. I can barely even like remember the other frontier brains. And so this game freak <laughs> was Lucy, okay. Why not? I mean, who else has done something like that? We gotta innovate. This is YouTube. We can't just do the same stuff that everything everybody else does. I mean, we can, but it's more fulfilling if we don't, right? Annabelle? Oh yeah, that was the, um, that was the Battle Tower girl. I honestly forgot about her as well, but I appreciated they brought her back in Sun and Moon in that suit. She looks way better in that. In that, what was she wearing in, like, Gen 3? Almost like some kind of, like, disco outfit, I remember it as. Here we go. Well, here's Wild Dragonairs right here. Just at level 97, you know. Uh... Crap. I better put Sakura up front so I can run away from things. There we go. We don't need to list off all the characters right now. That does remind me, though. I remember I played that Gen 3 mod once, uh, the Wally edition. That was a fun one. <laughs> the character sprite for Wally being playable, though, is a bit weird. This walk-in animation had to be custom, so it looked a little janky when you moved. I think I did end up playing through with all of Wally's team as well, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep Sakura up front for now. Uh, actually, we'll probably bump into battles. But that Dragonair was 97. Let's see how the repels will hold up here. Oh, it's still active right now. Damn. Okay. 
Well, let's pick a direction and go. Oh, don't taunt me like this game. Come on now. Let's go on a fun little adventure. Pick a path and go for it. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> the maps sure do love to do this, don't they? Okay, looks like I hit something level 99 or 100. Yep. Repels are about to be so worthless, it's not even funny. Break the dragon air. Get her out of here. There you go. The HP bar is so slow because we have too much HP now. Wherever there's trainers, that has to be the way to go, because the game never misses a chance to... Wait, the fang is useless. Ugh, yeah, that's right. I may as well just, like, hang on, give it to Cut. A symbolic thing that does nothing. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Here you go. What's the scale I need for that? You shouldn't be in here. I shouldn't, but I am. What are you going to do about it? Full trainer Kara wants to battle. Slow bro. I don't think they fixed the dragon fang, no. There's nothing that apparently says whether or not the dev fixed it, so we have to assume they didn't. Let's punch you now and hope you go away. A slow bro is a bit of a tank sometimes, though, so... Good enough. Oh, nice! It missed its T-Wave. Your whole purpose, your whole life led up to this moment and it did nothing. Goodbye. So close to that last little level. Oh, you have six Pokémon. I didn't realize that. Charizard. Well, do I have an answer for that? Rockman's the one holding the lucky egg because I have to use it to go boom sometimes. <laughs> that won't matter at level 100, though. You get crunch? My Charizard didn't get crunch. Well, eat this crap. Yeah, go on, eat this crap, why don't you? He ain't living this. He ain't living this. Come on, just die. Ooh, look at that. That's good. Four left. Done sparse. I'd say my team has good enough coverage. Only thing I wish is that I could just put more on Vaporeon, but water is such an important thing, like type to have on a team. But I wish I could do more. Now we wait for the HP bar to go down. Need a drink. So freaking hot. Oh, it didn't die. Oh, it got me. And now we play the full restore game. I still don't know if I'm gonna go for Suicune, to be honest, no. Fully paralyzed. Try again. You can't kill me. Because the Vaporeon I have has very good IVs. And like, for Suicune, I'd have to reset a lot to catch it, because it's a legendary. Put that there. Not to mention, like, the only real difference is that I'd be sacrificing Vaporeon's massive HP for, like, maybe like Aurora Beam that Suicune gets naturally. If I could just get access to the Move Tutor, I'd be able to teach an Ice Beam normally, though. Okay. Let you use Surf. So I think I'm fine with using Sonic, to be honest. Suicune gets Ice Beam naturally. Don't say things like that. Espe not, don't, don't say that around Sonic. You're gonna make him worried. He's gonna get replaced. 
Why can't I just learn Ice Beam, huh? Sonic, you surf. Easy. Easy. Too much HP. They can't do crap to me. Wait, what? Focus Band. Focus Band? Ten percent. I'm starting to suspect that it's not actually ten percent when the uh, opponent is using it. Super effective. The AI did have an unfair advantage in um, Blue Kaizo. Remember that uh, the AI's um, accuracy was just actually buffed. <laughs> For sure. Rockman is fantastic because it can just completely wall Pokemon like this. They can't set Thunder Wave. They can't do anything. It can explode, but I'm freaking Golem. What's gonna do, right? Nice. In my current playthrough of uh, Legends Arceus that I've been doing on my own, I caught like an Alpha Graveler, and I've just been using like this Alpha Golem. It's pretty nice. Ah, uh, Tyranitar. Should be able to submission it. Paralyzed, damn it. <sighs> Will it outspeed Vaporeon? Let's find out if it will. His face looks so weird here. Okay, hit him with a full power stab, Mystic Water Surf. You got that funny little forehead. Send him out, send him out, send him out. Oh, my phone's going off. Don't worry, I have it on mute, though. Oh, hang on a second. Are there packages at the door? Hold up a second, I might need to check that. It was pouring rain outside, so I needed to take a second to do that. They're not even mine. <laughs> oh, yikes, I lost. Asprey got this much money for winning. Yes, I did. Now, what else? I haven't fought the twins down here. Uh, was there another trainer after that? Was it just the two cool trainers and the twins? I haven't ordered any Teddy or plushies. I don't really have anything coming for myself right now. Let's get this. I think it is just the twins, yeah. What's this now? Calcium. Extra items to fill me up. Custom music. No, this is in the game. I don't know what you're talking about. The whirlpool is in the way. Lots more whirlpooling we gotta do. They're making sure we gotta go all the way around, huh? Looks like it's just that, yeah. Because somebody had to build that fence there just to be annoying. What? <laughs> They're making sure you have to fight them no matter what. It's a stranger we don't know. Then go away from me. And your parents teach you not to talk to me then? Twins, Leah and Pia would like to battle. Pia's not a real name. These twins just casually here with their level 97 Dragonite. They could probably take Claire if they wanted. Hello, level 100. Kill, kill, kill. Moomin Dragon must go. Needs to die for experience for me. Five two nine nine, level one hundred. Three oh one. That's pretty damn good. Another dragon. 
We'll just take it out. Ice punch. Yeah, get rid of him. Get rid of him. They both had a moment, but it was no match for me. And with this, this is every trainer in Johto now, right? I think the all that's left is the road to the Indigo Plateau. Ouchies. That's right, ouchies. Just killed him. Whirlpool is in the way. Sonic used Whirlpool. Now, what on earth do we have here? Nothing over that way. I don't think they edited this. That'd be funny if they did. Good to see you here. No need to explain. Claire sent you, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Friends. What helps you win battles? Raising. I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anybody. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Violence. Love. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is m important. Asprey, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. So how'd it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail? What? You passed? That can't be. You're lying! Even I haven't been approved. What a baby. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. <laughs> rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Except yours, apparently. <laughs> Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. <laughs> Wait. Sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. EM24. That contains dragon breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? Aren't you going to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town, then surf east to the Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it everything you've got. Well then. Now that we've done that, I'll come back here later between episodes to get a fun little Dratini friend. But now... Let's escape rope out. I got the badge. Let me get a drink. Hello, Asprey. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Claire and what you gotta go cry now. Well then. Uh, before that, I have to go to a Pokemon Center so I can deposit Hoot Hoot. Tell you what I should also do. Actually, I should deposit the protein and all that. I don't want to sell that until I'm at the actual Elite Four building. I don't want to risk losing all my money until then. Deposit. Experience share isn't really needed anymore. Amulet coin. Might need that. Not a big deal otherwise, though. Deposit that. Black glasses. Calcium. Uh, put the Max Revive away. Make sure I have space to pick up all the stuff along the way. There's just bound to be items there. Anything else? No, that looks good. Go to Bill's PC. Flash got that 
Miracle Seed, and I'll probably never use. Where are you? The Forgotten Friends. I'll be able to train that Chertini up just fine. When you have access to Pokemon that are wild Pokemon that are nearly level 100, it'll go super quickly if I'm doing it between streams with speed up. Cut. Dana's still paralyzed there. Sakura did hit level 100. Good for her. Lucky Egg is getting useless now. Let me heal up here. Hang on. It's Sunday, right? Am I able to get, like, the pink bow or whatever? I'm just wondering if I should give that to Golem to power up Explosion. <laughs> just because that'd be so funny. Or is it... Well, I mean in-game. I don't think my time matches the real day. Yeah, it's Sunday in-game is what I meant. Sunday was Sharp Beak, wasn't it? Uh, is it? I guess so. Oh! I never got this item at the start of the game. <laughs> Hello, Caterpie. Remember when you were a threat? Not anymore. <laughs> Should have just used another repel, apparently. Uh, do I have waterfall on someone? I think I need to teach that to Vaporeon. Let me do that. Uh, do I need Whirlpool anymore? So I might want to keep those other moves on Vaporeon just in case. Uh... Yeah, I might need to go to the move deleter and just get rid of Whirlpool. Thanks to you, our research is going great. Take this token of my appreciation. Here's a Master Ball. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognized Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can. Sure thing. Master Ball, ahoy. Yeah, then. I have to go back to Blackthorn. Such an annoyance. Or whatever. Is this guy? Yeah, it was. Yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget moves. Which move should be forgotten? I might, un un unironically, might need Sand Attack and Bite, but I don't need Whirlpool. What a weird, ominous jingle. Sand attack is good. Yeah, that's why they gave it 5 PP in this mod. What if it forces me through the pools on the way to Victory Road? Don't say that! Don't say that! There's like only one of them. <laughs> There's no way they'd do that, I hope. Let me go ahead and use a Super Repel. Just have to gauge if they do over here. Maybe I'll have to deposit someone, because I need those two moves. Can't afford to do this anymore. It's too much. There's a lot of trainers on this route. Heck yeah. Well, here we go. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? No, I'm here to become the champion. Which I will do. Because you're all losers. Oh, she's got six Pokemon. 
The guy after this probably got six Pokemon, too. Well, then. Kill. Oh, I missed. Oh, you have ancient power? Why do you have ancient power, Venusaur? Why do you have ancient power? Heck yeah. Well, this, could this one shot? I'm not so sure. I don't remember how Venusaur's defense stat looks. Mm, I could probably kill it with an earthquake. I feel like I might have to go back and heal. Wait, no, there is a rest house. Uh, actually, knowing this game, it probably put the rest house. Oh, leftovers, huh? It probably put the rest house after all the trainers, right before Victory Road. I got the soft sand. There you go. One level 98, please. Coming up. 263 attack. Not bad. Magmar. Well, this Rockman can do, but Sonic is close to a level, so... Actually, can it get Thunder Punch? My HP is special. There's no way it can kill me. I might just have to fly back and heal after a few trainer fights anyway, because there's no way... Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. I don't expect the rest house to be in the middle like normal. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Let's take this boy out. I'm gonna pay for his crimes. Magmar always has T-Punch, and Electabuzz always has Ice Punch. I've been noticing that trend. There we go. Now what else we got? Lantern. I can use Earthquake with Dana. Fortunately, my health is low. Wait, I can't fly in Kanto. I, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, those sadistic pieces of crap. <laughs> Lantern is the sole reason that I need two Earthquake users. Because Golem will just die if I send it out against this. Come on. Come on. Damn it. This is gonna kill me. And now you're gonna go into full restore mode. Great. Maybe I can still fly here. We'll have to see. Well... It's all up to Sakura's Psychic Spam now. I'm gonna have to go back to a Pokemon Center after this frickin' battle. Like, there's no getting around it. <laughs> These two are designed to slaughter me. They're a check to make sure I have max level Pokemon, for sure. If Dana was, like, actually at level 100, I don't think the Lantern would have survived the Earthquake, too. Fantastic. I love attacking Pokemon with chunky HP values. It's fun. So much fun. Let me get some water here. Oh, you're still alive, but your special defense fell. That's right, it didn't affect me. Die. Any day now. I love losing to potions. <laughs> Any day now. There we go. Are you dead? Is the fish finally done? Lapras. Oh, fantastic. Another one that I absolutely can't send in Rock Man or Alucard to deal with. Okay. That was only her third Mon. Yes, it was. Please paralyze. Please, Paralyze. She may have used up all our potions, though, on Lantern. One... 
Uh, I took it down to half. Oh, not good. Everybody on this team has leftovers. Everybody. How about a crit? How about a crit? I feel like I deserve one. That's against the item clause. They're cheating! Go for it. Confuse no more. Just shrug off that confusion. Lots of experience no one else is getting. Doug Trio. That I can one shot with Ice Punch, but actually, no, Doug Trio can outspeed me at this level, so it might hit me with something stupid. Speed Sonic anyway. See if I can just hit it with Surf. There is moles on the loose. Ooh. This is not good. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's very not good. Look at how they're posed. They look like they're gossiping about me. And gossip about this. Oh boy, I bonked my desk. You have no HP stat, you're dead. You're not living this one. Ditto. Well, this is free. Thank you, cut. Send in the shrew. What am I doing? Off the rock smash, lower its defense, not that that matters. Once again, the little baby shrew does it again. That was sounded repetitive, but you know what I mean. All it has now is Ditto's freaking HP. Let's just let Alucard hit it. That, it's throwing a rock, but it doesn't matter. Because it's not a rock-type move. There's not going to be any dittos in the Elite Four, though, so I'm not going to worry about that. Imagine going through all this and then realizing the ditto comes out and it just uses your best moves against you. Carrying around Sandshrew has been the smartest decision, unironically. Gives no experience, though. Hey, look at that. Cut leveled up. And now for the second trainer. Tweet, tweet, tweet. No, it's called X now. Stop that. He's gonna get mad at you. Whoa, he just has one? I'm honestly surprised. A far-fetched. What's the catch here? I don't trust this. I'm just gonna go for it. What's he doing? He's slashing. So far, so good. And... Almost got him. I don't think this duck can do anything. I think he's just a fake out. I, I was fully expecting to have to find another trainer with six Pokemon right after that. But the game just puts one there like it's messing with me. Trying to psych me out. Hit him with that. Hey, there you go. Tweet. No, no, you stop calling it that. It's not called that anymore, silly. Bird Keeper's like... Me mimic whistles to command Pokemon. If my Farfetch sees anything pretty, it goes and gets it. You like pretty things? I can share if so I get my number. No. Don't call me. Ever. 
So what's over here? I need to see if it actually blocks it off with Whirlpool. It doesn't look like it does that, no. It might be safe to advance. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, no. Yeah, I need Whirlpool for sure. Darn it. Ah, oh, darn it. I think I might just have to get rid of Bite on Vaporeon now, huh? But I can't relearn that. I mean, realistically, I'm never going to use it anyway with the black glasses, maybe. Probably better just use Stab Surf with Mystic Water, but I'm never going to outspeed enough to flinch. Fine, fine. I'll fly back and teach it, though. I need to use the Pokemon Center anyway. Let's do that. And then we'll go back with all the Water HMs. I still need Sand Attack. I might need Sand Attack. Because if I don't can't use Water Moves with Sonic, I can at least do that. I think the AI, especially the Elite Four, will switch. Unless it's the last Pokemon out, for sure. Whirlpool, heal up. Make room for Whirlpool. Goodbye, Bite. And now we can just fly back. And everyone's levels, Sonic 96, uh, Alucard 96, Rockman 97, Dana 98. Back we go. Well, at least I can repel my way through this. Repel should still be active right now. We can do this. We can do this, I hope. There's a lot of trainers along this route. Who should I put up front? Uh, maybe Alucard. Do that for now. We're gonna go for a ride! The repel wore off in the middle of the waterfall. I didn't realize it counted those steps. And now we know! Level 41 slow poke. We can get out of here though. Once I get to the grass outside of here though. Everything is... All the wild Pokemon just have to be level 100 at this point. Repels are going to be so worthless. Blah. Let's do it. A lot of trainers along the way. Now let's get this over with. Oh, come on. Hmm. I start with Alucard... Dana and Sakura have by far the most coverage to lead with, so we'll do this. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. What do we got now? Yeah! Six Pokemon. And I'm betting you the other one's gonna be another, a another Ace Trainer with six as well. I've got the Soft Sand. Let's go for the Earthquake. Set that floof on fire. Come on, come on. I don't know how your defense is, but come on, come on. There you go. Never stood a chance. Fluff is down. Five left. Wheezing. Um. Should be safe to use Rockman for this. Because Wheezing can ex explode. I think it gets like Psy Wave or whatever. That's probably going to be what it goes for. Yeah. I've noticed that Pokemon, like, Weezing, if they can't explode or do anything else, they just go for, like, Nightshade-like like damage. Ugh. 
I said like too many times, but all's fine. Stab, ground, earthquake, gotta be good. Rockman's still holding the lucky egg. I'm not sure what to give Rockman. Oh, nice, there's a crit. Because I think the soft sand is probably better with Dana. Because Dana doesn't get stab on Earthquake already. Dawn fan is what we need Sonic for. I can't believe Vaporeon's been reduced to an HM user, for crying out loud. If this were Emerald Kaizo, I'd have to give it Dive as well, probably. Or wait, no, they didn't edit the map in that one. So it doesn't matter! Don't know how your special is. I'm pretty sure you're more of a physical defender. Hmm. Probably doesn't even need the pink bow, because Explosion is just so powerful. Yeah, probably. Maybe I should give it a Focus Band. Or wait, no, you can't get that until the Dojo and Saffron, right? Uh, I'm not sure what to give it. Maybe, like, a berry? I don't know. Hmm. Here comes Cloyster. I'm level 100, but did was I able to kill the last Cloyster I fought? I can't remember if I was 99 or 100 for that one. I'm starting to think I should put the Magnet back on Sakura. I'm done with Dragons for now, so... Ice Punch will probably one-shot Dragonite without the buff anyway. Unless I can find another Soft Sand. Maybe I should try and farm a Quick Claw off the Sneasels in Ice ice Path. <laughs> Just bank on Quick Claw Explosion, that would be disgusting. Yeah, I can't one-shot you. I'm not sure if I'm rolling low or high or whatever, but we'll have to see. Either way, I'm gonna exhaust your potions with this. Soft Sand is still good, because when you need to use Earthquake, you're not really going to get interrupted. Because like I just showed, the Pokémon can either... It's either Electabuzz use Nice Punch, which is never going to kill me. It could get a Lucky Freeze, though. Um, Ampharos gets Iron Tail. Blind types have Steel Wing to try and cover the Rock-type users. And what else is it? Yeah, the Weezing goes for, like, Psy Wave, which is basically Nightshade in this game. Because it knows it can't, like, go boom on me. Persian, excellent. I'm doing a lot better against this guy who's got six Pokémon, all things considered. The last user with six Pokémon was a Nightmare. Okay, you're fine. Heracross is good, and luckily its defenses aren't too bad. Excellent. It doesn't seem to have, like, any, like, like really frail defenses, like, at all. Okay. Can I one-shot Persian? Oh, boy. 3171. Last one. Dodrio. Yeah, Dodrio's also gonna be packing... Yeah, Rockman was actually a really good decision. Rhydon was really good in Blue Kaizo because of it, it walling electric types, but... I feel like I'm getting a lot more opportunities to wall, like, the, the flying types as well here. Because they just don't have, like, a, a good move to take me out, unless they get, like, crit. Yeah. Even a critical steel wing probably wouldn't kill me. From full health, anyway. Dana was a very good choice. Too bad I basically had to sacrifice some attack to not worry about attract for the whole game. Excellent. Yow. And Battle 2. You shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokémon in these parts. Should I? Should I not? I wonder if I'll be even make it to, um... Hmm. Will I even make it to silver today? 
That's the end goal of today's episode, is to at least get to the Pokemon League, because the Elite Four are going to take multiple... It's going to be like a two-hour stream of me trying them over and over. Of course, I'll have to save in the chambers each time. Especially with Blue Kaiser, where some of their battles were so stupid that you had to just, like, reset until the battle just went your way with RNG. Excellent. Hell yes, I can one-shot Tyranitar without a crit. Kind of figure it would have good physical defense and HP, but... Okay, Victory Bell. Finally, a chance for Alucard to do something. The Kaizo parties don't really tend to put a lot of Pokemon weak to fire. It's kind of absurd that I'm getting more mileage out of Golem now. Burn him. Almost. Almost. There you go. 40-92. Yes, I, I, I am very aware that Tyranitar is a dark and rock type. I... Do you think I have not played Pokemon before, friends? <laughs> Here comes Wobbuffet. There's only one thing we can do to Wobbuffet, especially at low HP. We're not playing Wobbuffet's game. Wobbuffet's gonna play our game, and the game is die. And we're playing it together. Unfortunately, at level 100, we're gonna have to wait a bit for this HP bar. Any day now. <laughs> I dealt with Wobbuffet's... Oh, look, I won like this. I dealt with Wobbuffet's early on in the playthrough, and they were hell. Okay, we did it. Hold up. You're just a kid, but you're not to be underestimated either. Not bad. Something to beat me. Bad, bad, bad. Like you give me your phone number. No, I don't believe it. You're going to regret this. How many Pokemon did she have again? She didn't have six like the first guy, I don't think. Yep, Sakura. She had three. I didn't even bother to look at how many she had. I was just mentally prepared that up to be in battle mode for a while once I walked in between them. As long as I got revives, Rockman is good. In a weird way, Rockman is almost like a free removal. Unless the opponent has Gengar or Mistrevis. Like, those will just hard counter Explosion, but... Yeah, honestly, Explosion strats ain't too bad. I kind of like it. Okay... Stranger asks for your phone number, you refuse, and they get mad about it. Yeah. That's life sometimes, ain't it? Hey, rare candy! <laughs> I should just use it now. Can easily train up Dragonite off stream. So, let me take a look at the experience bars. Halfway there. Almost there. Almost. Full. Okay. Should just let someone get a level right quick. Like Dana or Alucard, and then just use it. Joey, if you stop calling me, I'm on my way to be a champion. Hey, Pokemon doing? My Rattata's raring to go, just like always. You don't have a Rattata, Joey. You evolved it. Joey needs to, like, be sent to the home for a little bit now. We gotta get Grandpa to, Grandpa to bed there. No encounters. wonder what level they are here. <sighs> yeah, it's two, so... We'll just put Dana back up front. Shouldn't lead with that. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? How many times do I call me? No, I can't- I can't delete it now. I can't delete it now. That's just it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be funny anymore. Level 100. Go for the earthquake. 
You did not just get that. Well, there's nothing we can do to get out of sleep except push the A button. You can't freeze me. My special defense is higher than my defense. Deleting Joey's number and Crystal Kaizo feels like I'd be cheating. Come on. Come on, Dana! Wake up! Wake up! It's just hitting you with random special moves now. I feel like it's starting to get sunny outside. Yeah, there's light coming through my window. Nice. No more rain. Rain is cozy, though. So freaking cozy. Come on now. Heck yeah. Imagine if hypnosis didn't hit. What's left? Oh, he only has three. Alakazam. Um... What was my counter for Alakazam? Did I use Rockman for that? I honestly don't remember. I think... Um... Alakazam... Can Ice Punch, but I believe most of the Alakazams I fought don't have the punches. Only I'm seen to be doing that, so I think Rockman should be able to Earthquake it just fine. Seismic Toss. Oh, that's your... That's your physical wall out, huh? Weird. Thunderstorms can be cozy, but when they make the power flicker, they're not very cozy at all, because I need electricity to do stuff. What am I gonna do, sit in bed and read a book? With what light? It's dark! Heck yeah. Damn, that's a lot. What else? Oregon 2... Well, I hope I can outspeed it and hit it with submission. I don't know how fast Porygon 2 actually is. It looked like it wobbled like jelly there for a moment. Nice. We're about to break this piece of candy. Hey, there you go. 42 is pretty slow. Heck yeah. I don't think anyone got close to the candy range like I wanted. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm, I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge. <laughs> Dude stands on the way of the Pokemon League. He's like, you must be going to the Pokemon League. Psychic. He's got three Pokemon, too. Zatu. Hmm. Probably gonna go down anyway. YOLO. How does he do it? Excellent. Excellent. Ooh, nice. A crit, too. So close. Jinx? This might be a chance for Alucard to do something. Unless it uses Lovely Kiss and then just ruins my day. How many Pokémon can even outspeed my Alakazam at this point? I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl, Electro, Dugtrio... Definitely can, for sure, yeah. That, at least that's how I remember them being faster than me in Pokémon Stadium. That. Uh, Jolteon's also really fast. I don't know if anything Gen 2 is, like, stupid fast like a lot of those Mons, though, was there? Nice. Not enough. Slowbro. My option for Slowbro is normally Thunder Punch, but I'm gonna send in Dana and just see if I can land the Megahorn. Espeon, yes, that's, that's it, thank you. Other than Espeon, was there any other super fast Pokemon that came in Gen 2? Nice, I got it. You're not gonna live, slow, bro. You're dead. You're all dead now. I guess Jumpluff, but Jumpluff is also Jumpluff. Like, who cares about it? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, Crobat! Damn, I knew I was forgetting another big one. Crobat's like the fat one of the fastest to come out of Gen 2 for sure. Well then. I should probably use a hyper potion now. Are the beasts actually fast? I don't remember if they actually were stupid fast. Be healed up. Use this on Rockman, because it needs the extra 100. Raikou is like 95. That's it? I feel like they should be fast, because their whole shtick was that they run across the land stupid fast, right? That's why we all probably just think of them that way. Replace Charizard with Dragonite. Why would I do that, Yo-Yo? I need a six Pokemon. There's no reason to replace anybody. Also, what's TM22? 22, 22, 22 is Solar Beam. Can I teach Solar Beam to anybody? I wonder if that would be a good idea. I mean, Cut is a friend. It's a little shrew, but what am I going to do with it in the Elite Four? I can't- I don't need to use eight gems in the Elite Four chambers, that's for sure. They can both be little dragon friends. Well, we're here now. Route 26. Thank you for the resub there, friend. Appreciate it. One year of teddies, I just realized. No cake icon on you, that's definitely for some- definitely not what that was. Everybody shows up in pairs, huh? Are we sure we didn't just wander into Ore or something? I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. I don't know if I really want to run Wobbuffet, to be honest. Because I feel like it'd be kind of a uh, cheesy and boring. I already have the counter for other people's Wobbuffet. No, if I beat the first one and lose to the second, I, if I come back, the first one will still be defeated. Isn't it kind of funny how the bottom Magneton is just upside down? Bothers me to look at. 99. Mm, yeah, it's a pretty damn good attack. Mystery this. Hmm. There's not much I can really do. Mistrevis likes to run special moves, so it's not going to have Shadow Ball. So it should be safe to just spam Psychic with it. Even Gengar doesn't use Shadow Ball. No one uses Shadow Ball now that I think about it. The Pokemon that would benefit from it the most don't run it because it's a physical move in this game. Alakazam really does have a lot more going for it the more I think about it. Alright, what are you running? Ah, scum! Remember when Hypnosis would miss all the time because it has 55 accuracy? I remember. But then I also remember that the AI cheats. I'm getting some water. Yeah, see, it's using Nightshade. Because it knows my special defense is too high for anything else. Ugh, what a pain. That's how weak Shadow Ball would actually be on Mistrevis, because it has no physical attack for it. Oh, man, that's disgusting. I love sleep so much. I love how, like, in Kaizo, everything just comes down to who hits each other first. So if you lose a Hypnosis roll, it's like, well, damn, you just lost the battle. <laughs> well, maybe not this whole battle, but that matchup sure sucked, didn't it? I wonder if I should just go with Dana using Earthquake or Megahorn or something. Because Sonic's going to get outsped for sure. Let's just do that. I actually don't remember. Ghost resists um, Bug, right? Oh, you have Psychic, damn. 
Yes, it does. Okay, so Earthquake is the best play right here. I may have lost the battle after all, huh? Oh, cool. Critical hit. My two strongest Pokemon dead from dumb RNG. I love it. <sighs> darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. What do I go for now? It might just have to go hit that Stab Surf. And the crit mattered there. Yes, it did. I ain't gonna do nothing to it, even if I did have it. Mm, I hate this. I hate this so much. I really lost to this? Oh, boy. Yeah, I did see that, yo-yo. Oh, look, it has Thunderbolt, too. I can't even decide what it'll do more. Okay. Cool. This is real cool. This is really, really cool. I'm having a great time. And this is a fun battle, huh? Oh, boy. All I got left is these guys now. Burn the witch. Critical hit. Kill. One hit. Now. Oh, look. I got a critical hit. Did not kill, though. How much is this gonna do? Too much. Cool trainer use full restore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This stupid little thing, I don't like it. It annoys me. Greatly. Got out potioned yet again. Oh, thank goodness. I rolled high. Get me out of here, Jimmy. Who's left? Oh, that was the second Pokemon. <laughs> that was the second Pokemon. Oh, boy. Well, then. And this is also... Is this the first trainer or the second? I don't even remember. I can't even remember who I'm fighting. Don't you freaking dare. We're not playing the sleep game anymore. This is the second? Okay, good. We are not... Oh boy, get out of here. Get out of here with this crap. You not put me to sleep. I'm putting you in the ground. <laughs> oh, goody. Rock Man Grew Level 98. Exciting. Three left. Politoed. I don't think these two can do much to Politoed. Can't use revives in battle either. Yeah, I think they may have got me. That really sucks, doesn't it? All that because I lost to god awful RNG to Mistrevis. Best I can do is use Fly. Smokescreen isn't going to be reliable enough. It's going for Hydro Pump. Man, that hurts. Damn, that did nothing. Damn, now you hit the Hydro Pump too. That's cool. Damn, I, sh I should have spent some more money before I left. Oh well. I already have like an excess of Hyper Potions and Revives anyway. Darn. I'm going out on my own terms. All oh, right, I can't do that again. I gotta save in front of this person and I'm gonna reset if hypnosis goes off <laughs> because that was disgusting. I was robbed of that battle. And then freaking uh, Heracross just died of a random critical hit too. Go Shrew, go. It'd be cool if you could, like, miss one attack today. 
Aside from the lovely kiss, but, you know, what do I know? Ugh, that sucks. How much money do I have? I, lo I just lost half of it. Yep, yeah, damn, I should just go spend it at Blackthorn. Before I lose half of it again. That was terrible. What, what even was that? <laughs> it's disgusting is what it was. Welcome out, can I help you? I already got enough ethers for the whole game. Max Repel, there's the Lucky Egg, the Dragon Scale. And the rest on more Hyper Potions, yeah. Oopsie, don't do that. That'll do. And now we get back there. Oh, it's gonna suck, ain't it? I'm going all the way back that way. Still got enough repels for it. I'm pretty sure that, like, the stuff in the grass will be able to just kind of ruin my day, though. Like, I won't be able to repel it anymore very shortly. All I had to do was hit the Mistrevis with Psychic, but no. Hypnosis hit me and I just slept forever. Hang on. How what level are you at? What's your experience bar? Right at the start. I'm just gonna give you that rare candy. Let's do that. Sometimes we need a nap. Sometimes they need to die. They need to die for that crap. And they'll put wild electrodes in some areas too. Oh boy. Those places I'm gonna have to run around with Rockman up front. Too bad I won't be able to get any money or experience off them anymore by that point. Up and around, just a bit further. Just a little bit more. I just gotta whirl a few pools first. Yeah, there's only two of them. At least all the trainers are coming in pairs, right? I, I guess. We're getting them out of the way faster to an extent. They put this big rock here just to make sure it's even worse, too. Oops, no, 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 no. To the top. I'm gonna have my freaking revenge. There's some there, friends. I don't... Mistrevis was the second Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Dana took care of it, uh, the first one just fine. Let's do it again. Save again, because I'm paranoid. I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Are you sure this guy was seconds? I'm pretty... I don't recall if I fought that fisherman on the side. Yeah, the Magneton. That was the first one. He probably was the first, yeah. I need to land that Psychic, bro. I need to land that Psychic. Maybe even get a crit. I don't think I put the Magnet back on Sakura, though, did I? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Here it comes. This thing puts me to sleep, I'm, and I don't wake up, I'm, I'm resetting. <laughs> I'm resetting, I'm not going through all that again. Critical hit. Get rid of it. Kill. <laughs> Get rid of this annoying little thing. 
What do we have now? You're at half health. What, it went nightshade first? It knows. It must know. Or its AI can't decide what it wants to actually use, so it's fine. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Can two shot it with Psychic? And we win. Next one was Stantler. We didn't see that last time. Be gone, ghost. It's funny because... I... Um... There aren't a whole lot of Pokemon to use Shadow Ball or Crunch against these ghost types anyway. Like, as I said a little bit earlier, the best ghost types in the game don't have a physical attack to use Shadow Ball very well. And Dark type is treated as special, and that's just very unfitting for, like, every Pokemon that even gets Crunch, right? So your best bet for Gengar is just Earthquake, because Levitate doesn't exist, and Mistrevis has Miss Magia stats, so I guess it's just kind of like, yeah. Um, can probably outspeed Nidoking. So I'll just Earthquake it. I know it's going for sleep, and I don't want to deal with that. Sleep is the worst thing ever. What is the max amount of sleep turns in Gen 2? I think it's like 7. I can't remember. Either way, I don't like it. Ooh, I didn't kill. Ice Beam. Ice Beam? Bro, what moves are you running? Lovely Kiss, Ice Beam... And he got me too. He got me too! <laughs> he got me! That sucks. Whew. Let's get it again. That's like 10% on uh, Gen 2 Ice Beam, I think. He sure as heck can't spam Lovely Kiss now, so I guess I just wait until I thaw out. Uh, what was the chance of thawing out again? I know it's not that bad, though. He's gonna kill me with this, isn't he? Oh, he is. Man, I'm really dying to Ice Beam Neo King now. I hate this trainer. <sighs> really? Hmm. Really now? Hmm. Then. Let's send out Sonic and kill it. It had Earthquake too. I guess it saw Ice Beam as a better uh, better move, and clearly it was. We get some water while I drown this thing. Ah, uh, you gonna stop there? What did I do to this guy? What, what did I do to this guy? Because he's pissed at me. He's out for blood. He's got Lady Luck on his side, for sure, too. He's pissing me off, though, that's for sure. Take him out. Ninety-seven. left. Executor. Alucard should be okay to do this. Executor ain't fast, and I believe it got less special defense going into Gen 2 with the split. Can't remember. Burn the coconut things. Come on, charcoal. Come on... There you go. We ain't playing with him no more. He's gonna, He's down to his last one. Did I see it last time? Politoed, that's what got me. I guess I'll just have to Thunder Punch it with Sakura. I need to remember to put the Magnet on. Still don't even remember what Politoed stats are. Almost. 
Ooh, I might not survive this. I'm 100 from full HP, so... Ooh, just barely. That perfect HP stat, that perfect HP IV, I should say, actually came through here, didn't it? I blew it. Yes, you did. Get out of my way. I'm feeling great. I feel like I could boot even the League champ. You better have some strong mons to back up those words. He also brags after he's preying on someone who's just battled someone else, right? Ooh. Maybe he could take on the League champ with this. Oh, boy. Well, I'm probably going to die, so... You know what? Maybe it's a good thing I still have the Never Melt Ice on. Fisherman just packing level 100 Dragonites. He's got Moomin Dragons. We gotta watch out. I've already O-Code a few of these, so I'm pretty- I think it's a safe bet that they die in one hit from Ice Punch. Excellent. Who left? Pile of Swine. Um, probably best to just use Flamethrower. Sonic's dead. I can't surf it. Remember, this thing's got Mammo Swine stats, so it's stronger than a regular one. Don't recall how good its special defense is, though. Take out the swine. We're having pork tonight. Imagine if the Dragonite had extreme speed. Don't say things to scare me. But it didn't. If it did, I would have been so upset. <laughs> Tentacruel. Um... I could probably just spam Psychic on that, but... Water will kill these two. Oh, yeah, it's all... It, this is actually all up to Sakura killing it with Psychic. Oh, God. Here we go, then. You can do it! Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no. Fisherman is probably gonna go for a full restore. Maybe. So I'm gonna go for explosion. Yes! Okay, he, he, he did it. Rich boy took the bait. We win. Rockman just beat Squidman. You ain't living this. And if it did use a water move to kill Rockman instead, I could have just been safe to finish it with Charizard then. No, not in this battle. That's right, you lose. Joey, stop calling me. How are your Pokemon doing? You don't have a Rattata, Joey, you're lying. You're just lying. And now to heal the entire team, because we just got slaughtered. Oh, no one can even be Hyper Potioned yet. <laughs> I can't wait until I have the Dragonite next episode. Because I need that Moomin Dragon now. I thought I'd be fine with just five team members at max level. And at least until I get to the Elite Four, but the game is pushing it now, ain't it? But... Like, I can go get the Dratini right now. The problem is I want to reset off stream to make sure I get one with really good IVs because there's no stat experience in this mod. It would be incredibly worthless if I just get a really bad one. And I want that one specifically because it gets extreme speed. I'll do this.
We need to slowly just heal up. I mean, to be fair, my team actually is really good. The only thing that's really, like, causing issues is, like, really bad strings of RNG, like the Mistrevis using Hypnosis like that. I'm not sure if an extra body would have made that much of a, a difference there. Be healed. Looking at this, the lowest level is 97 for this group. That's good. We don't count cut. Wonderful. Oh. Level 100, yep. Um, to also be fair, I did have to bring an HM user along anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Repels no longer work. I wonder if any of these Pokemon would also be good to catch. Looks like the ho uh, house is there. I think that's the weekly siblings house, though. Level 100, Dunsparce. What level is the extreme speed, Dratini, again, though? I don't remember. Can't quite remember at all. Hi, Polyrath. How are you? Pokemon here just ready to rip me apart. 20? Okay. The speed up off stream, I can get a high enough level. Is that the rest house? That's the rest house, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh. You know what? I will take this. Since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm gonna give this battle everything I've got. That is the rest house? Okay, we're going to that next then. Maybe after I clear the trainer out. We get some water. I'm starting to doubt I'm even gonna get to Victory Road. <laughs> At this rate. Kill it. Slaughter her. Make that scum pay. We're getting close to two hours, aren't we? Two hours is about as much as I can take of this insanity. Two hours a week. That's all you get. Magmar. Rockman can block that hard, but Sonic still needs experience, so... <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Jeez. This is what we got this. You can't kill me. I'm too powerful. I can't- the thing is, no, because they're level 100, I can't even repel them anymore, even with Sakura. Because, um, <laughs> repels only work on Pokémon lower level than you. So... We just have to get used to encounters being a thing now. Raichu... well, Raichu gets Surf is the problem, so Dana is good here. Raichu's the only one I can't really, like, hard counter with Golem, because of the, sp uh, the special... <laughs> the technicality, they all get Surf. I assume if you have a Raichu yourself, you could just use Cut every two steps. I wonder if that would actually be faster. <laughs> that might actually be faster in this case, unironically. Because I'm gonna get an encounter every couple steps anyway. No, I'm actually considering it. That might be a good idea. Let's just get through this first. Fortress! Got an answer for this. If Koga still has a fortress himself, Alucard's gonna take it out. Burn, baby, burn! I like how they introduced the Steel type in Gen 2, and they made two bug Steel types. Ek gotta be extra die to frickin' flames, apparently. That was a sentence, wasn't it? Oh, we're getting there. 
Vaporeon. <coughs> mm, pardon me, jeez. Um, I know its physical defense isn't very good, so I might as well just use, like, Submission with Dana over Thunder Punch with Sakura. Steelix is a bug type? No, Scizor. Scizor and Fortress. Yeah, okay. Um... Well, Submission kill, I may as well test it. Break it. How far will it go? Okay, it takes it down to half. Which means it's probably about to be in full restore range, isn't it? Come on, you can live this. Nice. It's still out of full restore range, we're good. So I can two-shot it with submission. I was worried I was gonna roll low. Last one, Charizard. Have I got an answer for that? Golem also does pretty good against most fire types. Um, I almost hit Earthquake. I don't see too many fire types at this point in the game, though, to be honest. Like, I see Magmar every once in a while. I've seen two of them today, actually. But for the most part, every once in a while I might see a Flareon. Not really Typhlosion. I don't really see much of the Johto starters at all. Are they really that bad? <laughs> cool Trainer Joyce. No, I don't believe this. They're pretty bad. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's nice berry. A nice berry. Hey, look. Who needs repels? I am the repel now. <laughs> just do this all the way. Yeah, it's gonna take too long. Let's just YOLO it. Let's just YOLO it. That's too much annoying menuing. I might want to beat up extra things as well. Probably should heal Dana. Sonic hasn't seen too many opportunities to fight either, like... You don't really see a lot of Pokémon at this point that are super weak to, like, water moves. It's gonna take a bit to get into that rest house, huh? Do I go for it? Going into that rest house would just restore my PP, basically. And you outspeed me. Kinda just wanna hit that level 100. I'll just have to bite the bullet and run from everything then, won't I? Damn, if only I got stat experience, but it's not in this game. Disabled. What was another game I played that disabled EVs and stat experience? Uh, wasn't it like that Dark Rising one? I think that one did do that. God, I remember playing that back in the day. It was really not that good. I got, I ended up getting like, oops, I can't run from it. I end up getting, like, so sick of it that I just kind of stopped playing it. Some people still want me to go back to that one. But... I don't know. It got really, really silly. Maybe going back to it and playing it ironically... It might be kind of worth... I'll just switch to you. Maybe Sakura will have to be up in the front to guarantee escapes now. Sakura should definitely be able to run from it all. Okay. Is there a rebalanced version of it or anything? Well, the thing is, 
the dev has admitted and said that, like, it's not very good, the first Dark Rising. Like, I'm pretty sure they even were commenting on the videos as I was playing it, telling me, yeah, this sucks, you don't need to play it. <laughs> to give you an idea of how unbalanced it was... Oops, okay, that one's not it. I did need to play a little bit with speed up, yeah. I might need to make, like, a custom, like, times two setting of speed up so I don't, like, hurt everyone's eyes when I level up in it, but... Ugh. I don't know, hacks like that, they're more fun to watch than they are to play, right? Like, yeah, it's definitely unfair, silly, and dumb, but, like, you, you kind of want to see how silly and dumb it gets and you keep watching. Maybe I should try playing some more things like that. I mean... People have told me before that um, Snake Wood even has like a fan made uh, rebalance for it. And we can go now. I'm pretty sure the Snake Wood dev has just like been disappeared from the internet for like ages, but people have like taken Snake Wood and like fixed the level curve and stuff in it and added more Pokemon like to, uh, available to catch. Yeah, the repels are useless, so I don't even need to use another one. Hello, Scyther. Let's run from you. There really is just a lot of, like, Pokemon mods out there, though, and I, I really do want to play more of them. Like, Pokemon is a lot of fun, and those things just give you more, like, replayability out of certain regions or completely new stories and all that. Ugh. I feel like in the past two years, I have not played nearly as much variety as I would have liked. And I've still played a lot, and it's been fun. Wait. No, I need to go to the left one. Here we go. You have a, a list of 100 fan games for me. I knew you were adding something to that, but I didn't think you had it that high up. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just like that. what I was saying, or, or that, ugh, can't talk, earlier with, like, horror games, it's just like sometimes you're just a little demotivated to do some stuff. But I've been getting to a lot more games than I've been wanting to play lately, and it's been pretty fun. Is there... Oh, no, this is a dead end? But how? I could have sworn I took that path last time, and it led to whatever. Let's go. Let's just go. I mean, I have tried to play some in the past, in all honesty. I wasn't, like, super into them, because they were also, uh... Some of them were a little bit too edgy for me. Ugh. Yeah, Snakewood is pretty rough. I think the, the reason that it got popular was because it was one of the few, like... It was one of the few hacks that was done, right? Everything else around that time in the early days of, like, ROM hacks was, like, just unfinished or just a demo. Okay. Let's go back to the top. Look at that. I think, like, there's people who've made, like, entire hacks that, like, cover the story of, like, the manga or even the anime, right? I remember Pokemon Vega. That one was, like, very, very grindy. People had to make, like, a mod called Vega Minus that, like, fixes the level curve because it was so much. To the top again. Oh, pardon me. Maybe we'll be seeing... I mean, we're getting more into Mystery Dungeon mods now. Oh, okay, this is how I got back to the tree, so I need to go back to the left on this side. Yeah, there was one that kind of, like, covers the story of, like, Ash in the anime. I don't know how far that one went. But there's a lot of, like, hidden little treasures out there. I've said it before, but I've played, like, games that have just been made short for game jams and, like, Pokemon Essentials, and they're, they've are they been a lot of fun. Some of my most favorite playthroughs. 
Yeah, I've heard Pokemon Reborn has some uh, scenes that aren't exactly streamer friendly from what I hear. Yeah, I can't use repels anymore because they're all level 100, so we just gotta do this. Let's keep going. When I played Snakewood, that was also, like, so early in, like, the channel's lifetime as well. <laughs> I think that was, like, one of the first Let's Plays on this channel to, like, really start to blow up as well. <laughs> and nowadays, like, I'm a lot more self-conscious about, like, swearing and stuff. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied just by collecting them, right? Ugh. Psychic Richard only got one Pokemon. Nice. We can do this then. I remember, like, back in the day, I would- I kind of, like, sweared a lot. Not just, like, on YouTube. But then, like, one day, I was just kind of like, Yeah, I, I don't like, just, like, swearing so much. And then I, like, kind of stopped. And for the most part, um, what is it? Every once in a while, people are like, I wish you would swear again. It's like, I don't. I don't- I don't need to swear. I don't feel like I need to swear. So I don't. Espeon's paralyzed, it can't attack. I think they probably think it's a it's a conspiracy to please Mr. YouTube. I can't say heck anymore. Or it's all over. Push that. Hey yeah, there we go. It did not kill it. Let's kill it now. Psychic Richard healed it! Swearing isn't wholesome. It would make the teddies cry. Exactly. YouTube is also, like, doesn't like it at all anymore. I remember, like, the last time I streamed Valhalla, that visual novel that I like a lot. Um, there's a... One of the days in that game, or everyone... Because ev in that one, when I'm reading the dialogue, I just say what they say. I wasn't filtering it at all. There was a part where everyone keeps talking about this one guy, and they're like, this guy totally effed. And, but I would actually say, say the word out loud, and <laughs> YouTube didn't like that. They said, they said heck too many times there that day. There we go, to the top. Too much. That was like the last time I got like a, an instant yellow symbol when I uploaded that. <laughs> It's Zatu. And that's a dead end up there. I gotta surf again. Oh, cool. I need Whirlpool. Still. Good golly. I'm moving the thing over here. They're level 98 in the water. I guess the repels would actually work here, wouldn't they? Let me do that. Uh... Yay, let's go. Hi, Joey. How are you again? How are your Pokemon doing? Marat has raring to go. It's the only one I have. To become a great trainer. Blah, 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 blah. I saw Lettyba. Oh, oh, boy. Try not to really clear my throat here. Random house for no reason. What do we have here? <laughs> Put a cut tree at the end just to say screw you. Now, is that all the trainers, or are there more? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't want that item. I don't want it. I'm gonna put Dana up front, and we're gonna get to level 100. I should probably use a potion on Alakazam. Oh, boy. Right now I'm thinking about Valhalla, and I want the sequel, whenever that comes out. Oh well, by experiencing tough battles, you gain power. I get the feeling that when I play that game, though, everything about it will be yellow symboled. <laughs> cool trainer Gavin has six Pokemon. Here we go. Who saw this coming? Berserk Gene? 
Oh, fantastic. That's not good. That's not good at all. I hope I kill it quickly. This is all up to whether it hurts itself in confusion. I should have... Did I save my game before I fought these guys? I probably should have did that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Full restore? Bro, you're at half health. The meme gene, that's right. How would they even edit Victory Road? We'll have to see. Let me fix my seat here. Well, I guess we're just gonna go through his potions now. He's using up all his potions, at least. I think he's out. That's good. Alright. Five, four, six, three. I'm right about to hit max level with Dana. It's fantastic. Machamp? Uh-oh. I don't remember if Sakura could one-shot it with a Psychic, but I'm gonna go for it. I like how the top of its hand- Why do they all have Berserk Gene? <laughs> Is that just this guy's gimmick? The people earlier went for sleep, the other person went for leftovers? Is Twitch freaking out for you? Hold up. No, I haven't dropped any frames. You're looking good. All the followed channels on the left side just disappeared. Oh dear. Excellent. You know, now that I'm reminded of Valhalla, I still need to, like, get my hands on, like, the Nendoroids of the characters they, they put out. Hold up. Electrode! I also wonder, I don't know if I showed it in this series, but did I show the, um, the Valhalla background that Hell Lobster made? I should show that off to the YouTube audience if they haven't seen it, because that one's super cute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. There it is, look at that! Look at that! Look at the little teddy ears to having a drink. The whole gang's there, too. I love that one a lot. Yeah, I know, I just don't have the money to get the Jill Nendoroid right now. <laughs> I love it, he just has a little drink there. And there's no Karma Train in there at all, I promise. The bear is having a, a glass of juice, that's all it is. Very good, Berserk Gene activated. I think we all know what it's going to do, but it's not going to be able to do it against Rockman. Confused? I've streamed, I've, well, I've done playthroughs of Valhalla like three times. I can't do it again because no one really wants to watch me do it again. Hit that there. And now it's gone. This guy is just what, all about whether or not he hits the um, confusion. Uh, what do you got? Ursa Ring. Speaking of bears, apparently. I think Dana can outspeed the teddy. This bear's going berserk. Bearzerk. Berserk gene activated. Attack went way up. Excellent. You'd all watch again? Well, I appreciate that. But I don't know how... Like, I feel like at this point, if I do it again, it'd have to be ed edited together into one gigantic VOD. So it doesn't just sit dead in the algorithm when I- when Because I can't just be like Valhalla, fourth playthrough, let's go. I already pushed it with the third. What we got? Scizor. Have I got an answer for this? It is very good. I think next December I might play it again for, like, the Platinum Trophy or something. I don't know. This is very comfy. What's Scizor gonna do? Bullet Punch me? He doesn't even have a priority move. I, maybe he could have Quick Attack from Scyther, but... Burn it alive. Excellent. 
Excellent. Yeah, the Berserk Gene never came back after Gen 2, right? So you can't just use it on, like, an own tempo Pokemon. Should be able to use Sonic here. So, I don't actually know if it, how arranged Victory Road is. Victory Road has no trainers except for Silver when you get to the end. So... Ordinarily, it's just a straight path. I don't know if they actually made it, like, some kind of, like, puzzle. Couple in the fact that I can't... I also can't really run away from stuff. Or, or, sorry, repel stuff. I have to run away from stuff. He lost the confusion, so I win. It's pretty straightforward, just annoying encounters. Okay. Because I want to see if I can at least get to Silver and try to beat him. If I die, though, do you realize I go all the way back to, like, Cherry Grove? <laughs> that would suck. So here's what I should do. I'll get to Silver. Whether I win or lose, that's when I'll stop. Coming back with a Dragonite, and that'd be good. I forgot I still had another one to fight. I forgot I still had another one to fight. Oh, boy. Excellent. What else we got here? Full Trainer Beth. I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. How about that? I'll make you flinch and then kill you next turn. This is a shot in the dark. Oh, that did not work. That did not work at all, and I'm super dead. Drill Peck is murdering me. Um, Charizard should be okay to send this one in. Hmm. Set it on fire with flamethrower. I lost my train of thought. Crying out loud. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. I just want to see if I can beat Silver, and then even if I lose to him next time, I'll be going back in with the Moomin Dragon. I'm sure I'll find time to train that up in the middle of the week. Blissey. Oh, no. You know what? We might be ending the episode um, after this battle, apparently. Oh, great. Dana's dead. Dana is dead. Rockman gotta go boom. There's no other way. There's no other way. Time to explode. That won't help you. Or will it, actually? Everybody hold up your plushie and pray. Pray that it ends. It dies. I need some water. Jeez. Maybe I should go out to the store. It lived. It freaking lived? Oh, great. That's fantastic. Reflect save it. Yeah, it did. It sure did. Boy, now what do I do? It's gonna- she's gonna full restore for sure. So I'm gonna sand attack it. Yep, here we go. Can't revive mid-battle. Can't revive mid-battle. So, I don't think I'm even gonna look at Victory Road today, sadly. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna end the episode after I'm done with this battle. Which should take about a half hour. Get comfy. Didn't they have a Pokemon after this? What if they switch? Did it have leftovers? I don't think it did. Here comes Blissey. Everyone, the reflect faded. Damn right it did. The only physical attacker I got left is Charizard. I think I need to send in Charizard and just spam fly now. 
Unless it sets up Reflect over and over. Or maybe I should just spam Fire Punch and hope that I get Burn. Mm. Won't do much damage with that. Oh, I might need to exhaust the PP of some of its moves again. It's already at minus 5 accuracy, so... I could also just use Psychic and hopefully lower its special defense enough. That might also be viable. Because my two physical attackers are dead. Of course, Dana had to be dead when the Blissey came out. That's just the rule, apparently. I might have enough Psychics to do this regardless, so let's do it. It probably has Soft Boiled as its fourth move, yeah. It seems to be running the same set that, um, Ariana's had. Come on, I need at least one drop. At least there's no leftovers, yeah. Leftovers would devastate me. Come on, get a drop. Those minus fives work in overtime. It doesn't look like you're gonna full restore. I might be able to do this. You piece of crap. You see? You see what I put up with? This is why you get one episode a week and that's it. This is why I need a break. This is why I take time to myself. Back to start. Hello friend, welcome. Welcome to the most boring battle you will ever see in your life. I haven't gotten a single special defense drop either. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's get one. Was that crit? No, it wasn't. Oh, they hit one. Max Potion took it up by 42 ticks, and Psychic takes it down by 9. Excellent. It doesn't seem to be going for soft boiled if it has it. Just one drop. I haven't gotten a single special defense drop. Are you serious? Oh no, I ain't playing this game. No, I ain't playing this game. I ain't playing with you. <laughs> Man. It's hitting Psy Wave now. Yeah? Guess what, Blissey? Guess what? We ain't playing. Eevee movement helps me relax. Yes, yes, it does. Let's go, Eevee. Playing with the movement is very fun. I really, really wish Dana was here right now. I wish she wasn't dead. Please. 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 Oh, go to hell. Why? This might be... Yeah, I probably need that pink bow explosion. Can someone please explain to me how I haven't gotten a single special defense drop with Psychic yet? How? I've used 10 of them. Weren't the odds like 30? 30%? Did I get a crit? I think I got a crit. I might be able to kill it. They're now 1 in 10 in GSC, are they? Damn. I remember getting it pretty often when Pokemon Stadium won. Please kill it. Oh, thank goodness. The egg is down, chat. The egg is down. Star me. Send it out. Go on, send it out. I'm gonna have to use an ether to restore that psychic. Just keep going, just keep going. Not enough. It's what happens when you don't put the magnet on. 
Because I don't have it. I still, I'm pretty sure I still have Never Melt Ice on, yeah. You're out of potions. You're out of potions. Die. Oh, how exciting. Beth was defeated. Pokemon Art Tools of War, says the Blissey user. Well, I was pre mentally preparing myself to spend 40 minutes on that battle when the Blissey came out, but I guess now we can go to Victory Road and try and do this. Wasn't nearly as bad as the last Blissey I had to fight. <laughs> oh dear. But we need to be at full health now. I'm gonna have to just burn an extra Hyper Potion. I could go back and spend my money, but I don't. I'm gonna just see if I can get to Silver and fight him. He's gonna be the big boss of today, because next episode, the big boss will be the Elite Four. But next next time, I'll definitely have, like, a consistent sixth Mon to use. Um, I still need revives, yeah. Sonic still 97, Alucard at 98. We can do this. We can do this. Just keep going. Believe in yourself. Almost there. Almost there. Rockman almost got 300 HP. Will it reach that at 100? We'll find out. And we're looking good as gold. Except I should use ethers now. Hang on. That's elixir. Oh, I had a regular potion. I could have used that on Alakazam. Damn. Oh, there they are. Hang on. What about your earthquakes? Uh, they're still at 12. Sand attack is empty. Explosion's empty. Just use an ether for that, honestly. Good enough. Who cares about the shrew? You can buy ethers in this game, so it ain't too bad. Let's get on the bike. Why is it dark in here? Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right ahead. Are you serious? Well, I don't think I can do this today now, because I need to go all the way back and get... Wait, that means I have to fight Silver with one less party member unless I teach someone Flash right now. Hold up. Hang on, did I need Sandshrew for all of this to get actually get here? Because I might have to replace Sandshrew. So, I'm not t I am not replacing any of Sakura's moves. You could hold a gun to my head and I will say, no, we're not doing that. I need cut. So I just don't have a choice but to go all the way back and uh, scrap somebody for that, huh? I need, I, I need someone who can learn Cut and Flash. We're gonna have to leave this, I'm afraid. I mean, I can buy more Fire Punch TMs and stuff, right? That is true. Oh my god, I hate that I'm thinking about this. What do I have on me? Thank you for the sub there, friend. Do I have any extras on me at the moment? Let me see. No. You can buy them at the top of, um, at the top of Goldenrod. Uh, flamethrowers on Alucard. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I hate it. Because the other... Ugh. No matter what I do, I have to bring in one HM user. Goodbye, Fire Punch. We'll delete it and put it back later.
You have no idea how much this hurts. Well, let's get through it. I lost Fire Punch, but Alucard still has that coverage. I will take level 100 right now, please. I can d I'll delete it later, and then I'll just buy another Fire Punch TM. For now, we'll just get to Silver and try this. It looks like no matter what I do, I can't bring in six Pokemon to fight Silver, because I need to have an HM user with me. Uh, so, can't use the Moomin Dragon against them. We'll just have to beat them right here and now then, won't we? I'm not going to take the time to make a map to use without Flash. We'll just have to run. We're good. Also, second Pokemon on the team hit level 100. That's good. That's right. I can't... Hang on. Shouldn't I be able to fly to the Indigo Plateau once I'm a certain amount into J into Kanto, though? Because I can only teleport out, can I? I'll just ha I mean, I'll have to go back anyway. I'll do it off stream, and I'll get another Fire Punch TM. I don't care about the items, so let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, the repels w might keep some Pokemon away after all, actually. Might be able to fly back when you get there. I don't think I can fly back. Cause in Vanilla Crystal, you have to use the teleport, dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed it up. There's a crit. These might repel some Pokemon right now, it seems. They're trolling me. They still want me to use repels. Let's go. Let's just at least get to Silver, who's probably gonna kill me anyway. Let's be real. Oh boy. Can't fly to Johto, but you can fly back to Elite Four once you get to Kanto again. I think I hit the speed up button by mistake. I think I should put Dana up front. Dana, or sorry, not Dana. Uh, Sakura is more likely to run away from things. The encounters here are definitely made to be annoying, so you can't run away from them. Teddy! Air Guitar Bear. We have no time to play with bears right now. Shh, jeez. Okay. It's a big bear. And those are happy moles, conversing. I'm gonna make a save, because I don't know if I'll be on the right path or not. We can do this. Have confidence in the team. There's two items there. Game can keep them. I don't need them right now. I don't need them! Maybe I'll get them later. Oh, hey, Golem. I wonder what Golem's whole point is being here is. Just to go boom. Okay, we can do this. I wonder, aside from Kaizo and Dark Rising, are there any other, like, super uber hard hacks to play? If they're gonna be super hard, I may as well, may as well get that content by playing them. Oops. Could be fun. For like five minutes for me, <laughs> at least. Oh dear, the encounters are really picking up now. Oh hey, Kabutops! I think Inclement Emerald was hard. I don't think I've heard of that one. What's that?
Looks like a point I should save. Branching path. Don't think I want to go down the hole. Or do I? Wild Muck appeared. Muck's just chilling at level 100 around here. Hmm. I think this is it. I hope. Inclement Emerald's more like a Drayano style difficulty mod. I like those. They seem like they'd be fun to complete the Pokedex in. Because they have a decent challenge, and I want to, like, scrub searching, like, scrub every area searching for, like, mons to add to the decks. I think I found it. It's time to save and see if I can beat him. <sighs> okay. All I did was turn. Big Teddy! We can't play with bears right now, they need to go. This level one had 100 bears, not to be our friend. Okay, and I'm back from a little break. We're gonna go ahead and try silver now. I shall see if I can do this. If I lose, I lose, but that's okay. Because, yeah, I don't know how ready I am for the Elite Four. But if I can at least beat Silver, it's fine. But I need to go back and get Dragonite. Go for it. Time to battle him. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League Challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. It's not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Asprey, I challenge you. We're going to win. Even though he's cheating. Silver wants to battle. There it is. All Ampharos can do is Iron Tail on Rockman, so we should be okay. Yeah. I don't remember if Iron Tail can, like, lower the enemy's defense or increase the user's defense, but it doesn't matter. Just hit it with that. All will be okay. A bit more. Just a bit more. I don't need a critical hit. It's only Ampharos, right? Now, do I have enough to go up? Excellent. 99. That's a teensy bit more. I don't know if my HP is going to hit 300 by level 100. Tauros? I'm going for the explosion. I'm going for the explosion. Even though he'll inevitably have Earthquake. Hey, it's 105. If he gets a crit, I'm dead, though. But I can definitely take a regular Earthquake from him, especially since I hit 99. Yes, perfect. I may not have the pink bow, but I'm taking him with me. It, Iron Tail can lower defense. Okay, good. Elite 4 is going to be a struggle, all right. Let's just have one good attempt against our good little friend here. Um, would he go right to Meganium? Megahorn would kill over Flamethrower right now. Oh, Marowak. Um, crap. It's probably holding the club, too. This is the part where I sack cut just to get a safe switch into like Vaporeon or something. Oh no, please don't get the boost off that or I'm doomed. Oh, he got a crit on that. The thick club increases his crit rate or didn't increase its attack by a set rate. I don't remember. I'm not confident Sonic can just kill it. Let's go. Oh, I outspent. It's Marowak. Why am I... Of course I outsped it. It's Marowak. It doubles attack. That's right. I'm, I think we discussed this episodes ago, but is there... Is it possible to get the Thick Club for yourself? 
in this hack. Oh, nice. I took him out. Physical defense is my weak point, so Sonic definitely would die from that. Let's go. One is password. Oh, okay. I really use that too much. Charizard's not going to be able to one-shot it with Flamethrower, but if I hit Megahorn... Plus, yeah, Meganium gets Ancient Power in this mod, specifically to counter Typhlosion and Charizard, so I'm worried about that. I absolutely can one-shot it if I land Megahorn. Unless it gets the boost. Can't believe Meganium outspeeds Heracross. I missed. You gotta be kidding me. Is it Neg Move and Vanilla? It should be. Man, 85% and I miss it more than Thunder. Please kill, please kill. It's freaking Mega Horn Stab. Just barely. I was so worried for a moment there. Two left. Oh! You've got all of them now. Uh, can send in Sonic. I might actually win! I just need some good RNG. 106? Okay, that was the highest level. Which means everybody in Elite Four will have one, uh, 110 at minimum. Yeah, Thunder Punch. I saw that coming. I'm actually gonna win? I think. Having Goldum to use Explosion to remove Tauros was the smartest thing I've ever done, for sure. Tauros is a freaking beast, even though he's technically weaker in Gen 2 compared to his Gen 1 version. Oh! No Focus Band? He's not gonna full restore. I can still do this. Typhlosion Shiny looks like it's Hisuian form. I think, like, Shiny Hisuian Typhlosion is also meant to look like normal Typhlosion as well. I don't recall. Last one for Alligator? Yeah, it is. Uh, jeez, I got this for free. I can T-Punch. I still didn't put the magnet on. I'm still holding Never Melt Ice. Whatever. Crazy Gator! This is the weakest one, too. Typhlosion was 106, and Meganium was 108. What? He's holding Quick Claw. He's gotta be holding Quick Claw. He, there's no way in hell for Alligator outsped. Freaking Alakazam. Those five levels ain't getting him over that hump there. It definitely has to have a Claw. Which means even though I can't kill it, I'll probably hit it, too. Yes, okay. It's definitely got the Claw. I might have to farm for a Quick Claw on the Sneasels off-stream, because I'm going to need to put that on Golem, because it's not going to need the Lucky Egg anymore. Holy moly, I actually beat it. Good idea to take a break and focus, huh? I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack, I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Heck yeah. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> you keep at it until then. Excellent. Good idea to take a break. People that left during the break aren't gonna see me win. What? Huh? Oh, they want me to fly to it. I see how it is. They're making sure I have HMs if I dare to leave, huh? It's a fuchsia moment. Can use this guy's Abra to get back to, um... Get back to Kanto. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and save here now. This'll be fine. So, between episodes here. Next time is obviously going to be the big attempts for the Elite Four, but I finally need to go get the, the good extreme speed Dratini and basically train it to a level 100 Dragonite, because I can't 
carry around cut anymore. It's useless inside the Elite Four. These five have been doing fantastic, so once I add Dragonite to it, I should be okay. I should be, like, able to do this. Given... Like, let's be real, though, the Elite Four are going to be a lot of trial and error, because if they're gonna be anything like the Blue Kaizo Elite Four, it's essentially gonna be, like, saving in front of them and resetting until I understand what their strategy is, because a lot of it can be just left up to luck, right? But anyways, we're gonna switch over to some Purity Forest now. I'm glad I was able to beat Silver. We didn't have to end on a sour note. Anyhow. No, I can't go over level 100. That's just how it is for them. It's to make up for my boost from the badges. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops. Have a good night. Bye-bye.